welcome, welcome, welcome to the Let Me Stress You Out Show. Let me stress you out, show. Let me stress you out, show. What's up? This the meet and greet. Well, I'm about to holler at y'all. I want to see what y'all been up to, and I want to see what's up with y'all. Show one of Shanks is in the building, and I got to let her know how I'm feeling. Danielle with the D came to see me, and I ain't never tripping. What's up? Look, Lake Sharonade, I can't say your name so fast today. What's up, Kenyatta Carter, the party starter? What's up, baby girl? You ready to do what you do? This Boogie B and Brandon Beverly, and we came to make you... I forgot, I lost it, I lost it, I lost it, what's up y'all, welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the Let Me Stress You Out Show, I am your host comedian Boogie B, the New Orleans representative, aka the mouth of the south, aka Mr. Come here, let me stress you out, <laughs> come on Shawana Shanks baby, you was, you was early in the chat today, you all through it. Y'all all through it. Thank you, Leanna Minnis. What's happening? Uh, Teresa Davis, Lake Shay Renee, and here twerking. Happy Hunch Day, Danielle with a D. Thank you for reminding me. The call of Israel today, we like to call Happy Hunch Day. Not Wednesday, Hump Day, but Hunch Day. You know what hunching is. That's when you get on somebody with your clothes on and you <laughs> You just grind. They call it grinding if you're on the dance floor. But if you're laying down and doing it, it's hunching. It is hunching, hunching, hunching. And all y'all still some hunchers. Also, happy hunch day to all you hunchers. <laughs> all y'all old freaking Charlotte Jessica Rabbit. You know you a huncher. You gonna have somebody hunch on that coochie that night, baby. What's happening, uh, Ruby Blue? What's up with you, baby? Yeah, Teresa Davis, touchdown. I'm glad you're here. Y'all see Vice President done spent that cash app at the bottom just in case somebody forgot it. I don't know who. But it's right there at the bottom. It say dollar sign Boogie B LLC. This, and it says, let me stress you out, show live. 2021. PayPal.me backslash Boogie B N E N T. Did you share the live yet? Did you share the live for your boy? You just came in. Damn, Boogie, give me a chance. I just came in here. Let me see what you're talking about first. Lord, I ain't about to be sharing a live that quick. God damn, would you let me Would you let me enjoy the show for a minute before you get to telling me what to do? Lord, I'm here to enjoy myself. What's up, Robin Reason? I'm glad you're in here. Yes, indeed. Look at LaWanda Woods Griffin laughing already. Look at her. Why that? What's happening? You about to cash out me and make me hit that old school dance? Oh, shit. You're going to cash at me in the middle of this show. I'm going to have to do it. What up, Tiffin Nippy? Tiffin Nippy Nippy. How that hell growing back on you, baby? How that hell looking? I ain't checked in with you in a minute. How that hell look coming along? Is it up to a little cookie bush yet, or is it still down to a little Lou Rawls? What is it? Is it still a little Ben Vereen low, or is it like a little Angela Davis pickout bush? Which one is it? Hey, Lordell, I'm glad you made it back. What up, Anastasia from Kentucky? This is the meet and greet portion of the Let Me Stress You Out show. Let me see. I'm a twerker. I'm a slow grinder. That's on the dance floor. Oh, and the Lord Shawana, you better ask him when. Which one you doing it in? Call me Magnolia Shay on Hunch Day. That's what Charlotte Jessica Rabbit say. Ooh. She want to be like a Magnolia Shea on Hunch Day. You know Magnolia Shea really let somebody hunch on you just because they're a decent nigga. Fuck what they got. She like, you know what? Hunch on me anyway. I need this good hunch in the day. That's what some of y'all be, be doing on the Wednesday. Joe Abuku, what's happening with your brother from Nigeria? I'm glad you made it. Let me see who he is. Oh, okay, Tiffany Dippy says she got little baby curls now. Okay. You got the little, uh, you got the little tight curls. You got the little Kevin Durant curls. Oh shit, y'all about to go ham on this cash app early today. I see y'all trying to get me, y'all trying to get me to party at early today. I see what's happening, Heidi James. Heidi, how are you, Heidi? Heidi, you know what? 
Where LaShelle at? LaShelle, you still in here? LaShelle Miles, where she at? I ain't see her name. I, I don't think, I don't know if I saw her yet. I saw Ruby Blue and Lake Shay Renee. Lake Shay Renee said, we need the hunches to come to the front. Calling all the hunchers to the front. Okay, Heidi. Heidi, who gave you this white ass name though? Who? Who picked that name out for you? You must be, you black, but your name come from Caucasian descent. Yay, your name, Heidi. Every time they see your name, they probably think you're white when they see you on there. Okay, Lachelle. Lachelle, they know you black. When they see your damn name, they don't think you white. Heidi, they probably think you're white when they see your name, when they come right off. They probably think you're of non-black. They probably think one of your parents was white. But neither one of your parents ain't white. Oh, that's your oh, that's your undercover name. Oh, that's your white get along with everybody name. What's your real name, Heidi James? Dottie Diamond, what's happening, Dottie? Oh, Miss Dottie, what's happening, old Miss Dottie? I'm glad you're in here. Let me. I can't, I can't even get Heidi the trophy for Caucasian, but I damn sure could give Lachelle Miles. Y'all put the cop put the uh, trophy in the chat for Lachelle. They ain't gonna never think you white if you put on the application that your name Lachelle. Oh, your name Gabriella. Gabriella. I like the Gabriella. I'm taking back my Caucasian name of the day, Gabriella. You ain't no damn white lady name. You're sneaking. You're trying to use it for the Facebook. No. Lachelle, real name is Lachelle. And she always had to grow up being named Lachelle. So them white people was looking at her application like... Oh, boy, we got a black girl coming up. Her name is Lachelle Miles. Lachelle. It's probably Lachelle. Check and see if it's Lachelle or Lachelle, because it could be either one. She's definitely got two African-American parents. It just depends on how they want to pronounce it. Hey, you know when they white folks see your name, they judging you right off the top. You got the two black parent name of the day award, Lachelle. Yeah, and it's so deserving. It's about time you get something. It's, somebody it's about time somebody uplift Lachelle Miles. Hey, uh, Lachelle, goddammit. Hey, no matter whether you put the E on it or not, it's still Lachelle and white folks still know you got two black parents. Your whole family photo. I bet you if y'all go to Lachelle page and you look at a family photo, it's all Negroes. It might be one or two light-skinned people, but it's all African American descent. Go on to Facebook right now if you want to. Uh, not right now, but wait till after the show over and remember to go see her family photo on her page. It's gonna look like a damn. It's gonna look like a damn. Uh, 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 uh it's gonna look like a, a Gap Band or something. It's gonna look like a whole Whispers group. It's gonna look like something all with all chocolate people in there. Yeah, when well, your name Lachelle, Lache ain't too many white folks in your family. They way down the line. That name came from the mountains of Negrosis, where you could see Negroes grow. That's where that name came from. Hell no. I thank you for accepting your trophy so gracefully, Lachelle Miles. I appreciate you for being a sister. And you persevered no matter whether they was judging you or not. Thank you for coming, Danielle, with the D. Brandon Beverly said, Earth went in fire. Don't be alarmed, we're Negroes. You got damn right. That's how our family come in the room. Don't be alarmed, my family's Negroes. Danette, what's happening, Danette Henry? Danette Henry, you just came through here, Danette. I want to say Danette is one of them old country names. I want to say that's an old country southern name. Is it? What you think, my friend? Is Danette an old country name or an old senior? Which one is it? It's an old country name. It's a down south name. Yo, yo, then that your people came from the south somewhere. They picked that name from old country. They picked your name from um, up under a uh, hen house or something. Your name came from up under old country cow field. It came out of something. It that name came from an old that's an old country cow field name. Then that, then that Henry, come on in here, darling. Come on in here, then that Henry. We're looking for Danette Henry. She probably from Alabama, Mississippi. Come on up, sweetie. Come on up, baby girl. Come on up, Dan Danette Henry. Your old country name. You got the CNA Award today. The country 
name a award of the day. Yeah, you got the country name. What up, Cinnamon Jessica Rabbit? I got another Jessica Rabbit that doesn't stop through a chocolate one, too. Oh, it looks like I got an old chocolate Jessica Rabbit. Now I got two Jessica Rabbits on here. I need y'all. Yeah. You miss me? I miss you, too, baby. I'm glad you came today, though. I'm glad you came today. Oh, where it came from, Louisiana? You got damn right it came from Louisiana. It came from somewhere like that. Well, with a name like per, a person that, well, you ain't gonna meet nobody from New York named that never, unless her mama came from, or her grandparents came from Mississippi or Alabama or damn, or uh, 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 Texas or Louisiana. I'm finna change my name to something interesting so you can TTM, talk, talk to me. Okay, Ashley Melody, all right, relax. I know you want your just doing your propers. But Ashley, everybody got that name, Ashley Melody. I got to go look at and see why. I got to see why you my individual. What you say? Not a hen house. Hell yeah, Latasha. Old country name like that never came from up on the uh, outhouse or a shack or a sugar shack or a juke joint. You got a name like that's a old Danetta. Danetta grew up with a sweet shop in her neighborhood. She grew up with a candy lady. If your name is Danetta, you grew up with a candy lady in a, in a country deep south. Y'all used to call a frozen cup. Y'all don't call it a huckabuck. Yeah, y'all remember old country Danetta call it a huckabuck? Was she eating the icy or what y'all call it? Iceberg? I call it a frozen cup. Uh, uh, anyways. Okay, well, whatever it is. Yeah. Tippy Nippy, what's happening, baby? I'm glad you made it. Let me see. Okay, I think this is the meet and greet portion of the show. It's a happy hunch day. Oh, they'll call it a huckabuck on a hunch day. They sure will. Them damn country Danettas. Them, 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 them Danettas. A smoke out. Amy Ross with us all. What's happening, baby? From the end. Oh, happy birthday to you, queen. We want to celebrate you and uplift you on your B day. Happy birthday to Amy Ross with us all. She been coming to my page for her. I can't remember how long. Maybe eight, nine months now. We've been tight. You feel what I'm saying? Then that I'm glad you made it, baby. Just on to celebrate with my homegirl, Amy Ross with the sauce from New Orleans, a down south representative who support the Let Me Stretch You Out show and she loves what I do. Thank you so much for coming and happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, Amy Ross. <laughs> Happy birthday to you, Amy Ross, <laughs> with the sauce. Hey, happy birthday to you, queen. All right, bet. Let's get on into it. Let me make sure I share the live. Did y'all share the live? I hope y'all shared the live by now. Nah, nah, shit. I'm just getting warmed up now. I'm just getting... I'm just getting cranking, Ed Graves. I'm glad you made it, Ed. Say happy birthday to Amy Ross with the sauce, baby, from New Orleans. I'll her. Anyways, Tiffany Lippin say candy lady in the baby projects with Mr. Truth with the penny candies. Yes. Amy Ross with the sauce birthday today and everybody and all my bookends are celebrating her day. Cinnamon, thank you for coming through. Cinnamon, Jessica Rabbit, welcome back because I ain't seen you in a minute. Guess what we on now, Cinnamon? We on these verb energy bars, baby. You got to order these verb energy bars. I don't know where mine at right now, but anyways. You got to order the verb energy bars, baby girl. The link is in my bio. I, I'm getting y'all healthy as I always do with my new gimmick gadget right here. These Verb Energy Bars, them motherfuckers taste good and plant-based and good for you. Help you get your energy up so you can get that little stomach off you. Anyways, thank you for sharing this sentiment. Go to the link in my bio and get them in and order that for me. If you, you could do that since you're welcoming back. It's nothing for you to do that. It's nothing. What's going on, Tiffany? How you doing, Tiffany? If Tiffany said, dude, and then I got to press see more. What she said, I need it. Okay, what you need, Tiffany? What you need, Tiffany? Happy birthday, happy birthday, Tiffany. We got a little top, top baguette badge on her head, and she going in. Jan, CNA, Jan, where you at, Jan? 
I don't see, where Jan at? I don't see Jan. I see Jan somewhere in these comments. Let me tell you something, Jan. You about to get the name from the white name of the day. Because who damn black named Jan? Who the fuck? Hey, Jan, you got the Caucasian name of the day. Your name came from the mountains of Secaucus, where you can see Caucasians. That's where you can, Negroes, as you see Negroes grow. But in Secaucus, the Secaucus Mountains, you can see Caucasians miles and miles around. Thank you, Jan, for accepting your trophy for Caucasian name of the day so gracefully. Thomas Ken Kennedy, Ken Kenner, Kennerly, Tom, Tom Kenner. Tom Kennerly, thank you for coming to the Let Me Stretch You Out show. Oh, Jan, I ain't, I know. I'm sorry, Jan. Hey, ain't nobody gonna confuse hey, When they see your application, they ain't gonna think you black. They gonna be like, Jan, I Jan, I I'm looking for Jan, I Um, Probably a white lady I'm looking for. Looking for a middle-aged uh, white, white lady. Her name is Jan, I Gotta be. Geraldine Brown, what's happening, baby? I'm glad you here too. I'm glad. I'm always glad to see old Geraldine. Say happy birthday to Amy Ross with the sauce. Your name is Janine. Oh, oh, you was born in Barbados and raised in Barbados. Okay, that explains why your last name is I. You try to change it and use a white name for disguise. I see what you're doing. Lakeisha, you see what they be trying to do though? They be trying to disguise their name into a white name. So if you see Jan, you gonna think she a white woman. She trying to get away with something. She trying not to get. She trying to get away from that judgment she was getting from being out of the country. Hey, she tried to put Jan so we could shorten it up. Yeah, yeah, she an islander like Marie Ju Jume. Marie Zu Jume. You gotta uh, formulate and get together with your damn uh, uh, Caribbean islander peoples that come in there. Make sure you check them out. Yeah, let them into the fold. Let them come into the Let Me Stretch You Out show every day. What's happening, Jesse Patterson, baby? I'm glad to see you. You ain't been coming in. I ain't been seeing you. Oh, Geraldine came from Philly. Okay, bet. I'm glad everybody here. You gonna sell some Wang Tang for the limp? Oh, oh, oh. Cinnamon. No, no, no. The limp, you say you sell, sell, you gonna sell some Wang Tang for the limp dicks. Listen, ain't none of them in here. They ain't gonna come to this page. This is for niggas on CMOS. CMOS is the new Wang Tang. Yeah, CMOS will get you right. Get you some good organic CMOS, burdock, bladderack, root fellas, and you'll be right back on top. Don't you let, don't you, don't you dare let her do you like that. Don't you let her do you like that, fellas. Don't, don't you let cinnamon. Simona Jessica Rabbit coming here talking about she selling some Wang Tang for the limp dicks. Ain't no going, ain't gonna be no limp ding dingalings coming around here. Ain't gonna be no noodle penis. No, no, no. We on sea moss, fellas. Don't worry about that. That sea moss will uplift you. It'll get your guard, fellas. I need you to get them verb energy bars. Get on your sea moss and drink plenty of water. Dingaling pop back in shape no time. Geraldine, you know how them niggas do, especially them Philly niggas. You know how they do. Let me tell y'all what's going on today. Let me let me tell you what the show is about. The show is about me roasting somebody for y'all on your behalf. So if you know somebody who did something to deserve a good roast, then you let me know. Put it in the comments, and I'm on their ass like licking a split. I'm on they I'm on their ass like licking a split. Is that what? Yeah, licking a split. I'm on their ass like licking a split, baby. Because you know you'll lick that split quick. That's a quick one you'll lick. You'll lick that real fast. That's how quickly I'll be on their ass if you tell me what they've done wrong to you of with malicious intent. Once I drank that book, that CMOS Boogie B, it ain't, hey, it's up and, it's, and it ain't stuck. It's up and it's stuck. Ooh, Tiffany if said that CMOS will get you right. Ladies, too, get you that CMOS and like, get, get that coochie back where it was back in the day. Get it very juicy like it used to be. Before you had start eating all that sugar and, and uh, eating all that bullshit putting in your body. Get that Gucci right back to where it was. A1 sauce. Get on, eat your whole bunch of avocado. Eat, eat, your, eat your heap of cattle, uh, avocado, baby, and get you some sea moss and drink your plenty, uh, drink your plenty of spring water. Do like Boogie B. Get that natural, untouched water. Spring water only. I don't care what brand it is. Get that. It's going to help you better. D 
Derek Chauvin, I'm going to have to research. I mean, I, I can, but, uh, you know, I got to see what's going to happen now. Hey, listen, let, let me tell y'all something. I, I will be on Derek Chauvin's ass. I've been on it before. But I got to do the writ video on him. I got to look up the facts and be able to spit the facts up in the truth mixed up in there. Yeah. But if somebody you know personally is doing something wrong to you specifically, somebody that you know in your life or somebody around your realm that did something disrespectful to you, then you let me know. Like the other people, celebrities, the people that you don't know, we all talk about them. It's on the global scale. But on the live, on the Let Me Stress You Out show, put somebody who did something near and dear to your heart. Even though that is near and dear to our heart too, but that, that don't pertain. We don't know them people. Come on, Kenyatta Carter. You said, is the trial still on? I believe it is. Hopefully, it, it, hopefully it'll be over and he'll get his just due. And, and that'll be, I want to see what he going to say. My ex-boyfriend for hitting me up after six years. Come on now, Marie. Jew, Jew, man. You come here often enough to know that nobody ain't going to get stressed out for coming back to want some of that purple pack. If you gave him some of that coochie before Marie, Marie, Jude, Zoom, or Zume, like I like to call you, if you gave him some of that coochie six years ago, he earned, he, you, you shouldn't have let him get it. The purple pack will make you double back, baby. That's the gift and the curse. I can't roast him for that. It's, he's only doing what he's supposed to do. He had a great thing and he wants to come back and get some six later, six years later. Then that said, my daughter disrespected me all her life. And this morning, I found out one of my settlement came today. And now apologies. Ain't shit so sad. I was so depressed. Well, I got to look into that one, Danette, because that sounds like what people what people do all the time. You know, people, that sounds like something regular that normally happens. I don't that don't, I don't see the malicious intent. I'm going to have to look deeper into it. Inbox it to me. Leonard Cole. What's happening, old Leonard? Oh, Leonard done came in. I done gave you a trophy away for senior citizen name already. So, but but you come come back tomorrow, Leonard. I got a trophy for you. Oh, Leonard. Oh, Leonard. Ain't going to be no newborn baby Leonard. That's for sure. The last of the Leonard's came out in 1980. 81, 82, they stopped producing niggas named Leonard. Ex-boyfriend for quitting on me for no reason after all I did for him over a year ago. No, uh, Kenyatta, that's not a roastable offense either. People are allowed to break up with your ass. That's just what we gonna do now. You ain't gonna be a hundred, you ain't gonna be undefeated. People gonna break up with you just like you got the right to break up with who you wanna be broke up with. If you wanna break up with your nigga, you can break up with him despite whatever he done done. That whatever he, I don't care if he licked your booty on the Tuesday, you can still break up with him. That don't mean a damn thing. Let's get to the let let me get to the topic of the day because I see y'all off the trail with the let me stress you out shows or oh, uh, uh uh I mean the let me stress you out roses. I don't think y'all got nobody. Who done something to you with malicious intent? I think y'all just going hell. What's up, Martin Van Dusen from North Carolina? I'm glad you're from old South Ca old North Cackin like it. Old country boy. What's happening? You say my neighbor stole a bump on my son. <laughs> uh, now see now that's what you get roasted from right there. That's a good one. Simona, Jessica Rabbit, your neighbor stole the bumper off your son's car. Keep going with it, baby. Look, and then I'm gonna keep working with it because that just don't make no damn sense. You can you can find your own damn bumper. Your old bumper still in the ass. What the hell are you stealing a bumper for? What you ain't got no damn insurance on your vehicle? Get you some insurance. That's number one. This this, this is a good one. I'm gonna I'm gonna call you. Uh, I'm gonna call you. Uh, 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 let me see. My white trash neighbor stole the bump off my son's car. Y'all see it now, but keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Dig into that. Don't tell me what they look like. I know what they look like. I know what somebody who steals bumpers off cars look like. Come on now. That's easy. 
I could easily describe that one to you. Now let you just put some more detail. Put some more what what done happen, what how that happened, what did he did coming y'all y'all, what he did, how he get that damn bump off your son car. Was your son park on the street? Oh, either way, it don't matter, cause you a petty bastard. Oh, come here, oh, hell yeah, let's do it, Amy Ross with the sauce. Let's call him the bump, the bumper bandit. Bumper bandit, come here, let me stress you out right fast. Cause your little fat, funky, crusty, white, cheesy ass know you need to stop, get your shit together. Why you need to steal a damn bumper off somebody else's car? Why you ain't got no insurance to get your own damn bumper? You on methamphetamines? If you on methamphetamines, then you need to check yourself in. Because you getting out of control stealing bumpers off the car. That boy license plate connected to the damn bumper. You done stole the whole license plate. You left the license plate on the front, but you took the whole bumper and took the back. Now the boy got one damn license plate on the front of his goddamn car with no bumper. And he can't drive his shit because you on methamphetamines. You need to get your goddamn life to all the way together. You know what? That hell start getting back thick. If you start doing shit like if you stop if you stop stealing bumpers, I promise you your hell get back full and fluffy like it was. Before you start being a dumbass. Oh yeah. In your yard. Crack out. They came at the, them that big fat bald head cheesy white bitch came on your property to steal your bumper off of your car. And you got him on the ring camera. You saw him do it. You see them come with his pants hanging half off his ass. If your pants are you and get you some damn pants to fit if you're gonna be stealing people bumper. A crack booty bitch. I had a crack, a crack of his ass coming out while he's stealing up, while he bending over to pop the bumper off the car. You should have been popping them pimples off the top of your butt crack. Your a uh, fat butt crack. Pull your damn pants up. Butt crack man, a uh, uh, bumper bandit, bumper bandit, aka butt crack man. You're stealing bumpers with your butt crack hanging out. Put some drawers on before you go out here stealing people goddamn uh, bumper off their car it, out of their yard. Oh, you got some damn nerve, a funky uh, dishwasher body bitch, a damn a uh, baby Chester draw credenza body. Uh, a China cabinet built bitch, a baby China cabinet built bitch, a upright China cabinet built son of a bitch would steal what type of dirty ass, fat, funky, cheesy, crusty, uh, uh, goony, goo ass, a uh, stanky white, pale, uh, uh, picket fence white, body ass white person would steal a bumper off of a car. Who steals the whole bumper? What you about to do? What you about to sell the bumper? How much you gonna get for the bumper? Who needs this bumper anyway? What happened to their damn car? Why they don't have any insurance on their vehicle? Why are you stealing a bumper for somebody else anyway? Because you can't possibly be stealing this bumper so that you can bring it right next door to my house. You know, you're not gonna put it on the vehicle that's right next door to me, to me if you stole my bumper. So I know you out here looking for somebody to sell that bumper to a bumper selling bitch. Maddie, talk to these niggas. Hold on, Maddie. This shit is out of control. This, I have to stress this person out. Why would you steal? Why would you go in somebody's yard and steal a son bumper off his car? Steal the whole, they stole the whole damn bumper, Maddie. I'm some of them took the bumper with the lights plate on that bitch. And drew, and took the bitch out the yard on the goddamn ring camera with their pants hanging all off their ass. Hey, old fat crusty. All you saw was a pale booty crack bent over. Stealing the damn, uh, uh, stealing the, trying to eject the bumper off the goddamn car. And he got his butt in his, you can see the sweat glistening from the camera. Oh, hell no. Nah. This nigga, no, you, you know you did wrong. So what I want you to do from here, this is how I'm going to help you out right now. I, I told you what you look like doing what you was doing. But now let me tell you what you should do. What you need to do first off is you need to get a belt for them pants. Okay, that's number one. You, you, you get a belt for them pants or put or tie your string tighter in your joggers. Because you should never have that ass hanging out in these streets ever again in life. That's number one, the first thing you want to go do. And the second thing you want to do is get off the methamphetamine. If you get in, check yourself in somewhere. Check yourself in so that you can get the help that you need to keep you from stealing folks' bump out here on the ring camper. You, hey, you... You ain't, you're, you're never, you'll never prosper at this rate. Yo, you gonna stay a big old fat, uh, crusty, uh, a pork a pig built bitch. You gonna say that until you start doing right by people. Now get off them drugs, pull your pants up. 
And your hair will start growing back. I promise you, it'll start growing back. Ain't no way you're going to be this bald, ugly, and white for your whole life if you get your shit together. It ain't no way. The Lord ain't going to let you stay looking like this. He going to uplift you if you start doing the right thing. That's all I'm going to tell you. Check yourself into a, in a rehabilitation center for that, for that methamphetamine problem that you got from stealing people bumpers on their car. And, and put that, and call that boy and tell him where that bumper is at for that car that you took off. Tell him to go ahead and pick his, go ahead and let that boy go pick his damn bumper up. I promise you, something good will start happening in your life. Oh my goodness, this is, this is unbelievable shit. That's that, that's the type of shit that I stress people out of. Now I ain't gonna stress nobody up over, over I ain't gonna roast nobody and call them all up, all that type of shit. If they ain't did nothing to somebody, but if you stole somebody bumper off their car, off their son car, out their yard. What what is your purpose of doing that? What you was about? Seventy five dollars? What you trying to? I'm about to fuck you up over seventy five dollars because you came in my yard. I'm about to cap you in your ass for seventy five dollar bumper that you took off my son car. Just for the principalities in this, it's principalities, Shawana Shanks. And you can't let this person get away with just coming in your yard and stealing your son bump off your, off your son car. Oh my God, why not? You know I ain't I don't get them that often, but when I get them, I'm I'm getting them. I'ma give it all to their old stanky dog ass. Ain't nobody stealing no bumpers off no car in 2022. What the fuck? They acting like they still doing crack. You supposed to be doing. You, hey, Matt, that fe that's old drugs. You need to be on pills or something, now. Come on, now. Upgrade your drug game. This is, you ain't making sensible decisions at all with, uh, with the, with the methamphetamine time. What type of, what type of job, what type of bumper you gonna, what do, what do you sell? Where are you taking it to a chop shop? They need, they need loose bumpers. Where are you taking it to a junkyard? They're gonna get you $33 for it. What you gonna do with $33? And you live right next door to me and you know I'm gonna shoot you in your ass. Now why would you why would you take that chance with my son? Why would you come in my son yard? That's just what you deserve to get called. You get you deserve to get called everything but a child of God, cause you ain't walking in his path. Thank you, Joe Buku. I but hey, listen, that but that was that's just unnecessary. That's why I gotta get him, Melissa. I'm glad you came today, baby. Of all days, I'm glad you came to the Let Me Stress You Out show on the day where I got to freestyle and stress somebody out for doing some dumb shit. Another Ezel from Friday. Can y'all the corner? <laughs> Can y'all the corner? Say that's a whole nother. Okay, let me let me tell y'all what's going on. Cause Dottie, hold up. Who who is who birthday is it? Dottie, you still talking about um Amy Ross with the sauce birthday, or is it somebody else's birthday too besides Amy Ross with the sauce? Yeah, I don't know if Dottie just been Jody. You ain't just got here. You've been in here. Let me see. Okay, good. LaWanda Woods Griffin, this is where I need you, baby. This is where I need you, Cinnamon. See, when, when people do you wrong, you got to help somebody. You see what I'm saying? This is how you're going to get your blessing. You're going to help somebody today, Cinnamon. Uh, Melissa, I need you to stand in here, too. I need you to stand, uh, settle in and settle down. Like, Vice, like, like Donald Trump said, stand back and stand by. I want you to settle in and settle down. Research department, perk your ears up, baby. I need you on this one. Joe Buku, you only you the only person I know from Nigeria now. You the only person in the comments from Nigeria. I need your point of view on this. I need your perspective. One of my boogie bros going through a little con a little conundrum, a little doozy, a little tizzy, if you will. Yeah, it, it's something going wrong in his life now. He been with this lady. He been with this lady for a couple of months, a couple of months now, about a, almost a year. A little less than a year. They they were they just moved in together. They done been in a relationship for a year and they about to move in together. They move in together. And guess what, Melissa? The girl said, okay, I'm glad you moved in. Here go our sex schedule. She scheduled the sex and put it on the and put it on the little board. And take and put the board on the refrigerator. She is a sex scheduler. She said we only gonna have sex on, on Mondays. I mean, on, on Saturdays and Thursdays, when she off from work, she ain't going to be fucking you on days when she got to work just because you live here. She got the schedule of this shit. Or she maybe, 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 I don't know the schedule she made. 
Be okay at the Lord saying maybe she's trying to get pregnant. That could be the truth too. That could be the truth too. She could be trying to get knocked up. She's trying to hit that good old uh she's trying to hit that good old ovulation schedule or that good old ovulation cycle and, and spring it up on it. But don't you think that's something that you might want to tell somebody you're trying to do? I don't know, maybe. Larry DeVos, shit it. <laughs> what, is what is that, Larry? We're a bunch of shit emojis with ED. Amy Ross with the sauce said, oh my. Danielle with the D said, how boring. Come on, Danielle with the D, you from Liverpool. You know, you know y'all do sexuality a little different out there. Come on now, y'all shit a little more free, I think, in Liverpool. Y'all try y'all some more freaks out there. In Liverpool. You said that's boring to schedule some sex. For some D in the house. What's happening, Maria Davis? I'm glad you're here. Scheduling is okay, Melissa Brown said. So what for what reason would you be scheduling, Melissa? If you say scheduling okay, what what you mean? What 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 you mean scheduling like what? Like you need to write it on the cause she wrote it on the little whiteboard and she put and she posted it on the refrigerator. It's on the to-do list. She need hey, she didn't say no every day now. <laughs> LaWanda Woods Griffin said, I need it every day. Wait a minute. You can't hold nobody to no damn standard like that. Now, that's kind of stretching it. How much CMOS you think this nigga taking? Shit, every day? Drewski the liquidator. Other days are reserved for her side dudes. Oh, Drewski. Drewski, you gonna come in here and throw that monkey wrench in there like that? Ooh, Drew. Hey, let me tell you something, Drew. Hey, Drew said if you try to schedule him, that means you that means you got your side niggas, but we live together. Hold on. Drew, did you hear the part about they just they live together now? They wasn't living together prior to this one year. Now at the one year marker, they moving in together. They just moved in together. And she talking about uh, this is the sex schedule hanging up on the refrigerator. Make sure you home on these hours and these days and those days only. Any days in between that shall be shall not be approved. Larry DeBose said, hell no, nah. ain't no woman putting a schedule on my ding -a ling baby. You got to call it a ding -a ling sometime when you say it like that, Larry. Ain't no woman putting a schedule on Larry DeBose ding -a ling My shit hard like before you could say dick, before you could cuss. Before you could cuss, that's how my, my shit, before you could cuss, that was the hardest that dick lean ever been. Before you, somebody ever could hear you say dick out loud, that's the hardest your dick lean ever was. Hard under the desk. And you back like you was before. Hope Harmony, you on too much CMOS, what if he put you on the schedule? What you, Hope Harmony be eating right, working out, getting that booty tight, getting that booty tight, doing all the squats every day. Hope Harmony, your, your good work ain't going unnoticed, baby. You're squatting it down. You damn put your little tights on, losing that little weight, and you dreadfully get hunched on. Now, that coochie like a little muscle in between your legs from all that working out and eating right you've been doing. That, and you're pouring all that avocado on top of your salad, or you ready to fuck on. As soon as you get your one, you're going to hang on to them, I promise you. Or oh, if you got you one now, you gonna hang on to this one. He ain't going nowhere with you doing all this working out of shit. He ain't gonna put you on no schedule at all. He gonna let you do what you wanna do. He gonna let you run wild on him. Hey, uh, come on, Joe Setter, what's happening, baby? I'm glad you came, Joe Setter Monroe. Adna Lloyd said, Nah, that sounds like Annie Ma Annie Marie Johnson. Who is Annie Ma Marie Johnson? I don't know who that is. Oh, Harmon is saying, I'm ready to start hunching. I know you ready. You ready to get that stuff, boy. You've been crunching them coochie muscles tight. So you at that gym, you've been on that thing. Ugh, ugh, yeah, ugh. Well, see, when you're doing all that exercise, ladies, that coochie muscle be getting grip, lip, 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 lip. And then when you're taking that sea moss and you damn get your verb, because Hope already ordered her verb energy bar. She taking one knee to get that exercise when she ready to get all the snacks. She done ordered that shit. Hey, Hope is shape, getting in shape over there to get ready to get on stone. Uh, Tiffy Nippy said, we are made love. We are made to love. You got them. You damn right you made the love. Janine, you made the love, baby. 
What if, but what if your a woman or what if your man says we gotta, we only gonna have sex on these days? We need to schedule this. The skinny light chin, skin chick from Strictly Business. Damn, you damn right she was like that. She was like up, down, up, hemp on, hemp, pump on, up. <laughs> she was bossing them around in the bed. Hope ordered what? Hope ordered the, the verb energy bars from me, Joe. The ones that I got in my bio. These are plant-based energy bars. I don't know if you can get them in Nigeria, but you can try to click that link and see. In my bio, like a new man. Hey, you got them right. Yes, sir. Hope got them derby to your bars, baby. I appreciate you. And keep your shit coming, too. Stay on your shit. Stay on your verbs, now. What the fuck is this banana, bro? Banana is bananas, bro. This is bananas. What's bananas, uh, Tippy Nippy? What that he want to put on it? That, that she want to put him on the schedule? I don't have time for a schedule. Janine, you don't have time for it? What if your man come to you and say, hey, Janine, um, I, you know, we've been together for a year. I know we done moved in together. And I know we used to, you know, doing things like we were doing things. But since we live together now, I think I'm going to have to give you a schedule where I need to have that coochie on uh, uh, on hunch day Wednesdays and fantastic freaky Fridays between the hours of 7 and 10. I need the hours of 7 and 10 on Wednesdays and Fridays. Now, anything outside of that is a no-go for me, baby. I don't do all that. Anything outside of what I schedule, that's a no-no for me. I ain't going. <laughs> Maybe he has a stressful job and he wants to give the best of the best. Okay, so you only get it two week, two days a week because he wants to give you... Theresa Davis said, no, Boogie, no schedules allowed. I need the ding -a ling today because I'm not promised tomorrow. You ain't promised tomorrow. You want that ding -a ling today. Because you ain't promised tomorrow. You want that ding -a ling today. Yes. Teresa Davis, touchdown. She said she wants that ding-ling today. I ain't scared of the damn thing. That's what Teresa Davis said. We can talk about it. Okay. Oh, why not? So you open to the schedules. Okay. Why not? So she open to it. <laughs> hey. Then you with the D saying, hell no. You ain't going to tell me when I can get that D. If I'm your woman and we live together. Because I'm your woman. Woman, I'm your woman. No go. Where is the excitement in that, Rain Bundy says. Okay, Rain, so it's no excitement you saying if you schedule it. But what if she schedules it a lot, though? What if she schedules it like 10 times a day? Or what if she say, okay, today I need, um, well, for this whole week, I'm going to need sex from uh, 2 to 5 every day. I'm going to need it again I'm gonna get from 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. I need it somewhere in that block of time. And I would like to also have it at uh, 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 1 to 3 in that block of time. And I also need it again at um, 10 uh, p.m. to 12 p.m. So I'm going to need that ding a -ling pretty often now. Is that allowed to do that? A schedule is a schedule, though, ain't it? Come on, Mar Mar Melissa, what you say? Melissa Brown said if you schedule it, well, at least it's guaranteed that you're going to get it. Melissa said if you schedule it, I know I'm going to get it. That's what that's what she said. Hey, De oh, Deborah. Oh, Deborah, let me tell you something, Deborah Gooden. Hey, Deborah said, ain't no schedules. What what my, my boogie what should my boogie bro do now? What should he do now? What 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 he's gonna do? Break up with the girl cause she's scheduling the thing of me? Oh, what she go what he supposed to do from here? Come on, Shay Shay Nicole. Shay Shay Nicole in the building. Shay Shay Nicole said, I don't like getting woke up for sex. Leave me alone. Any other time we can get it in, but not when I'm asleep. Okay, Shay Shay. All right, now, Shay Shay, you, you about to make, all right, hey, listen, if it worked for you, it worked for you, baby, but let me tell you something, I don't give a damn about a wake up, now, I don't give a damn about a wake up, 
Hey, if I'm ready to wake you up, then you're going to get woke up. What you going to do, fight me? You're going to give me that gooch. I'll tell you that. If I'm a good man to you and we live together and, and I'm taking care of what I'm supposed to be taking care of, doing you right, doing what I'm supposed to do, and this thing ain't decent, if it's even better than decent, if it's decent or up, then I think you will wake your ass up. What you got to go to work in the morning? Okay, well, you could be tired. Shit, this nigga lean deserve needs some attention and then damn, what you gonna do? Go to work tomorrow? You're gonna be well rested, but I'm gonna be out here slanging this dick while you at that job. If you if you keep playing with me like that now, nah, I ain't about to go. I don't go for that. Sleep my ass. What what you trying to get all this rest for? What you can't rest another time? What you can't uh take a nap at your job? You better go take a nap on your lunch break. I don't give a damn what you do. But, hey, I ain't going to be no uh, faithful nigga if I got to be talking about I can't wake you up for no coochie. Hell no. Who about, who about to do that? Okay, Janine said in waiting to exhale as the Labasset husband was, uh, uh, he was counting. Oh, he was counting. Yeah. He was cheating and counting because he was fucking that white lady. Now, we already did it. This I did on, uh, this I did on waiting, waiting to ask Hell Teresa Davis. That nigga came in there and said, she said, you won't sleep with me. He said, now, what do you mean? We did it four times this month. I can't even, I, I'm shocked that you would say that. I told you we have sex on Wednesdays. And we have sex every Wednesday like we're supposed to. That's four times a month. How much sex do you need? That's how he said it on waiting to exhale. She was like, I, I should have to do that with my husband and hit him with something. And counting every time, what you said, and counting every time they was getting it in. And count and counting the time. Yeah, he was counting the time they got it in. He was trying to schedule it. He was a four time a month nigga, whatever he was. And the first time there was an issue with the schedule, they're arguing. When it's on, it's on. That's right. So, 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 so. my partner Rain Bundy. Rain said, and she called herself Royal Lioness over here. Or, or she called herself Royal Lioness. Rain said that if you schedule the sex, if you get into, if you fuck up the schedule, no matter what the schedule is, it's going to be an argument. Ah, yes, that could be very well taken into consideration, baby girl. All right, it's think I, I think it's time for you. you. Oh, you hit that cash out too, Drew? You got it like that, Drew? Out there in New York getting that money like that for you to hit that cash out? What you got, your stimuli? Did you get your stimuli today? Somebody got their stimuli and done bust this cash out wide open. I already know what y'all did. And I'm going to have to, I knew it, Drew. I knew you did it. I knew you did it, Drew. And guess what? And guess who else did it? Goddamn Wynette. Wynette came through. Wynette came through. I need an around the way, girl, around the way. That's the one for me. She's the only one to the bridge. I need an around the way, girl, around the way. That's the one for me. She's the only one. I got to do that old school dance, baby, when I get that cash app hit like that. Because the cash make the thing of men go woo woo. <laughs> Hey, I need that around the way, around the way. That's the one for me. She the bamboo earrings, at least two pair. A Fendi bag and a bad attitude. That's all it takes to get me in a good dude. She can walk with her twist and talk the street. Hey, thank you for hitting that goddamn cash app. I appreciate you. Anyways. It's time for the WWBBD portion of the show. The WWBBD portion of the show sounds like this. This is the what will Boogie B do? Somebody inboxed me today. Was got they just moved in with their lady and she done started scheduling sex. And he said, "What should he do? Or how should he handle this situation?" Okay, bet. I know you love the girl. I know y'all cool. I know you. She she beautiful, purple pack, all that. But she's scheduling the thing a link. Okay. Yeah. Okay, good. Now, let me tell you what happens when you do it to Boogie B. 
I don't care what the schedule is. I don't care if you schedule me uh, uh, two, uh, once a day at six o'clock. I don't want no schedule. How about that? I don't. I don't need a schedule. If if I want that coochie, I'm getting that coochie. Cause why? Because I'm I'm being a good man to you. I'm not cheating on you. I'm if I'm not cheating on you. I mean, and I'm not beating on you, and I'm not abusive it verbally or physically. Then why can't you give me this coochie when I decide to have it? I don't give a damn if it's a. a, a, a I don't care if it's a, a damn. A uh, Passover Sunday. I don't care when it is. If I say I want some, if it's a Passover, you better pass over some of that coochie. I tell you that. I don't care if it's on the Sabbath and when you're trying to take the day off. You better Sabbath that ass on this day lean. If I ask you for it, and I'm gonna be in a faithful man to you. If I, I don't care. You can schedule it all you want. I'm gonna put it on them schedule too. But I'm gonna put it everywhere else where I want it to be as well. And if I miss that schedule, I don't want to hear your mouth, but I'm going to just do it when I want to do it. You're not going to schedule. I don't care if you schedule it on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. I don't care if you schedule on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I don't care if you schedule on two Saturdays and every other Sunday. I'm still supposed to be able to hit it whenever, whatever, whenever you want, baby. I don't know no song, baby. But whenever I get that Gucci wet, I better be able to put my knee holding in it. How about that? Damn a song. I'm getting the A. You ain't gonna be no good. You ain't gonna be. Y'all ain't gonna be in no good relationship if your woman is scheduling sex. If she got to put a schedule on it, it's it's a re, it's too restrictive. First, first off, who she got? OCD. You ain't gonna have OCD with my thingling. No, no, no. You ain't gonna schedule my thing laying around your schedule anyway. I come to your job. I don't give a damn. If I want some coochie, I'll come up there and fuck you in the bathroom. Come on now. I get you fired. I take my chances. You better meet me on your lunch break. If you my woman, you and I'll say, come on out here and put Hey, I'm living with you and we live together. We done moved in together. You talking about, no, you can't come up here and have sex with me today is Wednesday. And we don't have sex on a hunch day. We have sex on Tuesdays and, and Passover Sunday. I don't care if it's a Tuesday and a Passover Sunday. You better pass over that coochie or, or else you're going to pass your ass over to another nigga. How about that? You're going to pass that little uh, Tuesday and Passover Sunday to another nigga. Because I know a woman named Magnolia Shade. Ah, yes. You know all you already knew was going to come to this. You knew you gon' she gonna drive me to that point. This is the what would Boogie B do? Now I know Mac no shit. Y'all don't. So what would I do? Now listen, I'ma tell you once, I'ma tell you twice. Give me that coochie when I want it. If I'm your man and I'm doing right by you, do give me that coochie when I want it. I don't care if you're on your period. Give me that coochie when I want it. I don't care if it's a Passover Sunday. Get, I don't care if it's an Easter Sunday. I don't care if it's a Christmas day. I don't care if it's your mom's birthday. I won't, I won't, what, hey, what the hell I'm doing this for? I'm in this relationship being with faithful to you so I can get Gucci when I want to have it. If I ain't going to get it when I want to have it, I know Magnolia Shea would like to give it to me. She would like to give it to me and cook a nigga a goddamn omelet every morning. And guess what? And she ain't gonna worry about a damn thing. What what a, a, a schedule trying to make a schedule about a damn thing? Cause she don't want to worry my nerves like that. She don't want to upset me making no schedule. So she gonna get it together. Now I don't want Magnolia Shea. That's not my first choice. But hey, you know, you know, you was a good woman. I chose you. Now, I could always backslide to back know your shape just to get some coochie now. You ain't doing what you're supposed to do. Love have no bounds. I ain't saying no love don't got no bounds. I don't care about the bounds. Love is one thing. Giving me that coochie is another thing. I mean, you better have a, you better, at that coochie better leap over to this dingling with a single bound. How about that? Hey, I don't care whether love have a bound or not. I know that coochie better not have no bound. There better not be no bound if I'm being a good dude to you. Oh, shit, I wish. Lord L, you think I'm going to be with you? Hold on, you say you brought uh, Nella. What's her name? Niella Jones 
to the, okay, Neela Jones, I ain't see your comments yet, Neela. Uh, you got to put your name in up uh, for uh, uh, something to break it up or something so I can understand how you pronounce that, Neela. I don't see your comments, Neela. You got to comment more often or faster. Jacqueline Nelson, what's happening, baby? You ain't laughing and kikiing at the people problem. Oh, no, 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 Teresa Davis, they ain't no too far. It ain't no too far when it comes to your keeping your man happy. Now, let me tell you what's going on. Let me tell you, let me break this shit down for y'all ladies. The reason why I say that I'm not going to allow you to create me a schedule for no sex. Because I feel like you should love me enough to want to give it to me when you want, when I want it. Damn a schedule, damn a time frame. You're going to make time. You're going to build time. You're going to let me come poke at your, at your job. You're going to let me come to your church and poke in the, in the back at the church. Or uh, you going to let me pull up in the parking lot of the church and hunch on you or something. You're going to do something to satisfy your man if you love him. Now, the f fellas, if she's trying to schedule you, you sex, it's a form of disrespect. Why? Because she wouldn't schedule Michael B. Jordan. Let Michael B. Jordan say, oh, yeah, I want to be, I, I'm in love with you. I want to move in with you. You ain't going to tell Michael B. Jordan, here go the schedule from which we going to have sex, Michael B. Now, you think you about to get this coochie every other day, but no, you're going to have sex with me on every day at 3 and 6 p.m. every day. No, 3, 6, and 9, Michael B. I need you here every day. I need you 3, 6, and 9. You think you about to have that conversation with a nigga you look up to like that? No, no, no. I want to be the nigga you look up to like that. Yeah, hell yeah, at the church, Lord hell. I don't give a damn. You hunched at the church like it when you was little anyway. Hell no. No, no, no. Don't try to act like we can't hunch in no church parking lot. You going to do something for me. Yeah, I don't care. No, you can't have a schedule or nothing, even if it's too much. Michael, be busy. Why are you going to try to hog up that man's time? Let him come get that coochie when he feel like coming to get that coochie. If he's shooting a movie for three months, you wait. You What you going to schedule that man? No, Michael B., you're supposed to have been here. You're supposed to have been here if you look at the time. You're supposed to have been here at 7.35. You got here at 9.35. I'm not giving you no coochie now because you didn't come on schedule. I wish you would. It's a, it's a damn Magnolia Shea that can't wait to bust out the woodworks. Magnolia Shea is on the way. Every time you taking people for granted and putting all these boundaries and restrictions on somebody, you are taking them for granted and somebody want them. Fellas, if you give your girl a sex schedule, um, no, no, we're not going to have sex every day. No, I'm, bu I'm a busy man. I make money. I need to sling dick on Wednesdays only. Man, you can't beat that intimate. How much sex do you want? Wednesdays is all the time I can give you. I'm busy with the kids and the house and the job. Scheduled it. I told you to be here at 9. And you're not here at 9 o'clock. Why aren't you here at 9 when I told you? I am asleep now. It is 12.56. I have to get up and work in the morning. Your allotted time frame was earlier, and you didn't come and get this dingling. Now it's no dingling for you. Go to sleep. That's how he done her and waiting to exhale. And you think you think your relationship gonna turn out any different if you fucking with that nigga? Oh, it's even more petty. It's even more petty when it comes to a dude doing it to you. It's petty when a woman do it or a man do it. But if a dude do it to you, it's even more petty. <laughs> it's even more petty when a dude do it, I promise you. But I'll get into it some more on IG. Thank y'all for hitting that cash out who all hit it. And thank y'all for hitting that PayPal. So, so, so far for all who all hit it. I'm going to tell them about Rico Brown on IG. Don't worry about it, uh, Bobby Meeks. Y'all come to IG and let's do it again. Come on, Simone. I'm going to start over. Come on, Shay Shay Nicole. It's at Comedian Boogie B. Start you up on IG right now. You got 10 minutes. I'm about to go over there and start up another one in 10 minutes. Come on over there. It's going to be the same topic, and I'm going to try to deliver it the same way for the people who ain't seen me. Come on, Simone. I love you too, baby. I'm going to see you on IG here. Double dip with me. I need y'all double dips. Double dips. Let's roll out. Boogie Beehive. Oh, thunder.